Welcome back to Space Haven. In the last episode, we uh, went off to uh, this offshoot system here, where we found uh, interesting things, and apparently no pirates. So we're currently just trading with the uh, residents here. We've moved around things here in this hangar. And um, one thing that I definitely know that we do want is another generator. Apparently we also need... Uh, where is that thing then? A refinery, electronic fabricator, assembler. We need more hull blocks. Still one block left over there. As soon as we have that, uh, we're going to head out. Wally is going to fetch it. Excellent. a few more things that we would like over here actually so let's dismantle those things I'm not terribly concerned with the lights an air vent a chair Two ruined beds. They just as well dismantle these two wall pieces as well. that I think we're done with that ship we just need these uh, pieces I don't think we need the rubble I cancel the rubble the rubble we don't want that empty the ship of rubble I think that while they are asleep, let's sketch something here. One, two, three, four. And the same on the other side. I know it doesn't look elegant, but uh, we need the space for uh, things. Activate this and this. I don't think that's going to be enough. 
we need that row as well. There we go. We still have one little thing there without power. This thing needs to be moved. Um, but build a door here and a door here. And then we'll build a wall like that and the same down here. can dismantle this wall here. And we can also build on power. We can build a wall power node. No, that won't do. I think it won't do. Okay, now links. If we snip these two, this is the warp engine, and there's room. So that does cover what we need to cover in that room. Oh, it doesn't anymore. What we can do is build another power generator. We can build that there. This one up there. That should be fine. Then we can build another hyperdrive. There. Now this thing needs to be linked. Let's link it to the generator and to that. Power grid should now look pretty nice, actually. Which means that we should also have room for our capacity node in here. So speed things down a bit. Um, let's dismantle that and that wall. I suspect we need to dismantle the light there. Uh, 
I have no idea which one I'm dismantling. Okay, so that was the right one. Now let's build a door there. And dismantle the bed. And we also need to build a wall light. Then we can move this thing up here. We can build a bed here. We'll build a chair, I think. And I also think that we will build wall lights in these um, bedrooms. And then dismantle the regular lights so we can build chairs instead. There we go. Now we can have some chairs in these rooms. Chair in this room as well. And let's force someone to be a navigation because they're soon going to go to bed. Oh dear, we need water. You ready to jump? Yes, we are. Let's jump there. Drop out here. Need to remember to turn that off. It's morning, so you, 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 you are all drafted. No, we are not because I missed the button. Let's try that again. Draft, enter. So you're on your own, Peps. Sorry. There's an airlock there, but you will not dock at the airlock. Uh, quick.
Wally is the one that's been hurt the most here. Should be fine though. How do we get into that room? Good. It's a data log or credits there. That was credits. Ah, one of those. Credits and a new data lock. Excellent. I have no idea what you guys are shooting at, but there's probably a biter down there. Let's not destroy the uh, generator. I thought we killed everything in down in this room. Apparently we didn't. Now you guys need to go get O2. But before that you should kill those things. Jeesh, these things are persistent. Okay, they will have O2. Just a matter of this last room. Good, undraft, undraft. Speed things up. Is there anything here worth mentioning? Yes, there is. As for salvage, there is tech and energy scrap, so we'll get that. And we did get a new data log, which was Call Me Crazy, Entry 5. So this is the... Um, Floyd Pierce of the HSS Call Me Crazy, who are looking for Eden. This is the uh, Chef Brown Chang Blondie. And at the last um, entry, we had Chang recovering and yeah, a great adventure. Call me crazy, Captain's Log, final entry. God, saying that hurt. To know we've come so far and now it's my own bloody fault. Even after everything, I would still trusted Blondie. I never thought he'd... We found Eden. It's so beautiful. I always wondered what Earth used to look like before we made a pig's ear of it. 
blue, green and white. I hope we treat this one better. I hope we've learned our lessons. But I guess if you're listening to this, you don't need me to tell you that... tell you what it looks like. Congratulations, you found Eden too. You're down there somewhere. Hopefully we're scratching out a life. We were cheering and whooping and patting each other on the backs when the lights went out. When we checked the cargo, it was sabotage, plain and simple. Brown nearly threw Blondie out the airlock right there and then. The bastard spaced half our energy sticks while we were asleep, then falsified the cargo manifest. I guess Chang must have found out and confronted him. Damn it, I should have double checked the storage. But that's it, we're officially bingo for power. Blackout, dead in the water. This system is rich in everything we need, but we can't refine it without power. All those crystals, so close we could touch them. But the lights are off, the machines won't work, and there's no derelicts out here to salvage. We're officially out of gas, and it's a long way to the nearest pump. Blondie wasn't even apologetic. He's still standing there like he just did us all a massive favour. Like he just saved the world, the smug git. Chef searched his cabin. Turns out Blondie's a member of the cult of New Haven, those crazy wankers who think God's waiting for us out there in space and that we should never go back to living on planets because God threw us out of Eden. That book he's been reading all the been reading this whole time? The Collected Sermons of Visionary Abel. He's been brainwashing himself right under our bloody noses. Well, joke's on him. We're going down there. It's not like we can stay up here with no power, is it? The air is already getting cold. Blondie says he wants to stay up here. That suits me just fine. There's only room for four on us on the shuttle anyway. I can do without seeing the treacherous bugger every day for as long as we're stuck down there. I don't care if he hypersleeps or freezes to death. I just don't want to see him ever again. So, anyway, I guess this is an SOS. If you're reading this, we're hopefully still down there somewhere in need of rescue. We might be hard to find. It's not like we can build a colony now. Honestly, it'll be a bloody miracle if we don't all starve to death down there, never mind building a radio beacon. But it's a better shot than freezing to death up here. I hope to see you, whoever you are, when you find us. Until then, this is Captain Floyd Pierce of HSS Call Me Crazy, signing off. Huh. That actually didn't turn out exactly how I thought it would. But I'm pretty sure that the planet down there is not Eden, so... Because that looks like a desert planet. Or... No, it must be a desert planet because it has craters, so it can't be a gas giant. We're almost done with that vessel as well. Did I just say vessel? If I did, I meant vessel. I think I said vessel. Wally likes teasing me if I say vessel. Which, of course, I can understand. I would have teased me too. I think we have plenty of power. What we need now is more <laughs> hyperfuel. Although we do have enough for eight hyper jumps. Oh, I've forgotten to link this thing. There we go. I'm guessing that room is pretty hot. No, it isn't. That's a surprise. A 
very hot up here though. For some reason. Uh, wall thermal regulator. Can I build that there? Yes, I can. No, cannot build there. Um, yep, we're done. Prepare hyper jump. We're in no rush, so we'll let them sleep. jump I'm not sure if we should bother go getting that ice now we have enough ice or should we actually let's go get that ice never know what might happen to us and mine. Why are we so low on fruit while we have some? Oh, probably because that level one botanist has been meddling with the uh, grow pods. One, two, two fruit, two vegetables, four vegetables. Okay, let's stop this and put it to fruit if less than 25. Mining is done, so let's prepare another hyper jump. Sure, what time of day it is. It's very late, so they need to sleep. it down and pick up our trusted open crew and load them into the ship. And we will dock there.
Okay, I'm going to destroy this uh, machine here. There we go. I saw a biter down there. Two of them, of course. data pad in there new data log They need oxygen by now. This matrix is bleeding too. But she's a true Viking, she will handle it. I don't think there's that much left on this vessel. Extended med bay here, that's for sure. Now we will only need to get up there. And Miz will be taking uh, some time off in the uh, sick bay while Dr. Peps attends to her. go and undraft that and speed things up now transfer select all except for the monster bits salvage let's get the tech and energy scrap guess hull scrap too actually And Dr. Peps is doing a great job with giving her the necessary medications and stuff. A new data log for Starfarer, which is um, I don't even know who this is. Entry three. Off to find the hero. We hit the mother load with this system. 
enough minerals to keep us in parts and building blocks for, well, for a long time. More than we could store, so we used them to build a whole new cargo bay. Hamilton complained that the ship's all lopsided now, but it doesn't make a difference. Sandy tells me our water reserves are good too. Really, really good. Enough to keep us in air and drinking water for months. Cutter, of course, keeps griping how that makes us a target. It's only a matter of time before some pirates get wind of this big, fat, juicy ship full of food and water, he says. I have to admit, I'm worried too. He's right, and we only have three pistols between five crew. It's my job to protect them, and right now I'm painting a huge target on their backsides. I... Pause log. Resumed. That was Victor. He says he heard an old friend might be heading out this way, and maybe they'd be open to teaming up. They're safety numbers, after all. I have to admit, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, because that's not going to be pirates. I think I'm going to just empty this uh, vessel uh, in between episodes and uh, at the beginning of the next episode we should be ready to jump off to uh, System 5. So for now, thank you all so very much for joining me and I will see you all in the next episode.